always fresh, every day. You're watching Fast Lane Daily. Yeah, pretty cool, huh? That's one of the multi-million dollar machines that Toyota built to produce the Lexus LFA. Believe it or not, the only purpose for that contraption is to weave the Lexus LFA's A-pillars out of carbon fiber. Just like the Bugatti Veyron for Volkswagen, Toyota is labeling the LFA as an engineering exercise, a $400,000 exercise. It's more about learning how to produce cars differently than actually producing the car. Well, to us, it's about the cars, but hey, Toyota, keep telling yourself whatever you want. Anyway, to the news. SEMA rolls into Vegas next week, and we've got info on one of the stars for the show. It's Spectreworks and their bi-turbocharged LS7 Corvette Z06. That's a mouthful, but so is the car. Also, tuner IMSA takes the LP560-4 and tweaks it to perfection, and a new Ferrari prototype in the internet rumor mill. All that and commenter of the week at the end of the show. What's up, everybody? I'm Derek D. Checking out Fastlane Daily Desk Edition on a Friday before Halloween. Ooh. Boo. I don't know if you noticed during the intro, but you could kind of see the uh, teleprompter scream over in the corner, but we're just going to leave it in. Why not? It's gone now. We're good. Okay, moving on. With SEMA starting next Tuesday, cars have been slowly rolling out here and there. And among the countless Mustangs and Camaros is a new twin turbo VET tuned by Spectreworks. Said to be based on the Z06 and equipped with a 7.0 bi-turbo LS7 from Lingenfelter, this tuned beast is said to put down 800 horsepower and 800 pound-feet of torque. And with that speed, you need serious braking hardware. So they slapped on StopTech brakes with six pistons up front and four pistons in the rear. The president of Spectreworks, Jeff Nowicki, Nowicki, say that's a funny name, he has said that there's never been a GTR like this one and we think it will resonate with sports car enthusiasts of all stripes. Yeah? We'd crack that. Ian, would you? Yeah. How about you, Mike? Probably, yeah. Probably. All right. And in other tuner news not associated with SEMA, tuning house IMSA has taken the Lamborghini Gallardo LP560-4 and ripped it a new one. It's called the GTV, and it brings a 5% increase in power and a nearly 4% increase in torque. The GTV kit comes with a whole bunch of cosmetic and performance enhancements, such as front and rear aprons, fender flares, side skirts, and a rear wing. Also, to give you some comfort and ride performance, you get carbon fiber bucket seats and a slathering of leather in Alcantara. Unfortunately, they didn't search for coverings in the taint family, but maybe next time. Because as you know, we prefer unicorn taint. It's just so soft, right Ian? Go Especially in that Maserati the other, right. the other month. And now into a very special internet rumor mill. Special why? Well, I don't know, just because I said so. But today we've got the first spy shots of the 612 Scaglietti replacement. We don't have a code name or potential new title for the four-seater Ferrari, but this camoed up prancing horse has been spotted driving around the Ferrari Maranello factory this week. It's been five years since the 612 was introduced, replacing the legendary 456 at the time. Insiders say we should expect around the same horsepower in the new model as the outgoing 612, but with much better carbon dioxide emissions and even a potential KERS systems like that seen in current Formula One cars. The mule driving around the factory doesn't really tell us much other than Ferrari is indeed prepping an updated drivetrain for the car, and it is still probably a year or two away from dealerships. Once we see Schumacher testing it at the Nürburgring, we'll know the car is about to break cover. I, I can't wait. Can you? You love that Shuey guy. Ian's obsessed. Mike, Mike too. All right. Next up, we got Commenter of the Week. It's going to be awesome. It's after this. This is delicious. Hey, what's up guys? Fastlane Daily is launching new graphics. When you ask? Well, right here. Monday, November 2nd. That's this Monday coming up. New graphics on FLD. We got a new song, new intro. It's going to be awesome. So you check that out. Monday, November 2nd. Fastlane Daily. Always fresh. Every day with new graphics. Awesome. <laughs> FYI, there is writing on the script. Okay, guys? Just letting you know. All right. You guys know what time it is? Who knows what time it is? 
What time is it? It's coming through the week time. It's coming through the week time. Nice job, Michael. All right, lip syncing again. This week's comment is regarding Tuesday's episode and the abuse of power that a mayor in a Utah town displayed by suspending a cop for basically doing his job. The cop ticketed the mayor's son for driving without his license. Ridiculous, I know. Anyway, commenter TACD21 said, Politicians have been abusing power since the genesis of politics. But really, FLD, is this any different than us? Yes, you, Derek D., and myself, receiving PBA cards from state troopers and Bergen County cops, excessively speeding on routes 208, 4, 17, the Garden State Parkway, 80, 95, 287, or the Palisades Parkway? Well, first off, TACD21, yes, politicians do abuse the hell out of power. It's always happened, it's definitely happening now, and will always happen in the future. But you can't straight up just go against the law. You can't go and like stab people for fun and be like, mm, oh no, 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 it's cool, my dad's the mayor. It's just not gonna work. People need to be held accountable no matter who they are related to. That being said, nepotism's a bitch, all right? Unless you're like Paris Hilton or something, then it just works in your favor. But still, for other people, that's still a bitch. Second, I don't know about you, dude, but I don't have any PBA cards. At least not anymore. And I don't live in Bergen County, I live in Monmouth County, which, side note, is way cooler. Yep, Bergen County, I just called you out. We have beaches, okay? Also, no matter where you live, for the most part, people do not go the speed limit, and cops know that. I would say the average speed of cars on, on those roads is probably like 75 to 80 miles per hour, and most of the time, you never get pulled over. Basically, all you have to do to not get pulled over is drive safe, keep up with traffic, and don't rice your car. Seriously, if you do that, you might as well have like a huge sign on your car that says, I'm a tool and the cops are pigs. Yes, just like that. So keep the comments flowing. Hey, hey Trish. Happy Halloween. How you doing? Well, look at you all festive and black. I know, and, and I came over here because I think you know what? I was going to ask you. A little uh, holiday, Halloween. Little, little Halloween esqueness? Yeah. I was going to ask you. It up a bit. I was going to ask you how like, you guys put on those scarves because I'm always get confused. And if I came over here. All right, let you. me see. I'm going to take my mic off here and. All right, wow, this is, this this is cool. It's gonna make you look much better. It's actually like choking me, but that's fine. That's okay, that's good. Wow, so now I'm like Halloween-y oh, yeah. a little bit. Maybe I could just tag this the right here. The kids will love it. The kids will love it. How's this look, guys? Is this cool? Should I host the show with this scarf on? Or should just Trish be in the shot at all times? <laughs> well, this smells, what, this is, what are you wearing? This smells oh. delicious. I could like eat this scarf. Yeah, it's Burberry. It's Burberry. I'm gonna smell like chick all day. All right, well, happy Halloween. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be like the girls, I'm gonna smell like the chicks I walk by on Fifth Avenue every day that smell delicious. Okay. Trish, why are you so awkward? What's going on? Hey, Hi. so what are you doing for Halloween? Seriously, have a seat, it's sticking around. What are you doing? Trick or treating. What are you dressing you know? up as? Um, I think I'm gonna be Peter Pan this year. Peter Pan, nice. Can, can I be Tinkerbell? Tinker no, I'm, I'm gonna be both. What if I'm <laughs> Peter Pan and you're Tinkerbell? You can be Captain Hook. Captain Hook it up, or you, you know be, what I'm saying? You could be Rufio. <laughs> Rufio, he's like weird, doesn't do with the mohawk? Yeah. No, some dudes be slipping in roofies, yo. <laughs> no, that didn't work. All right. Well, thank you, Trish. This smells. This smells delicious. I'm gonna eat this scarf. That was about all I had, so I'm gonna need that back. Okay, I'll give it back to you after. I'm just enjoying the smell. That about does it for Fast Lane Daily today. I'm Derek D. Trish, say happy Halloween. Happy Halloween, happy Halloween everybody. Be safe. Eat candy and uh, brush your teeth because you don't want a cavity. Goodbye. Wow.